Good afternoon, everyone. Helheim Glacier on Greenland loses 8 billion tons of ice, makes international headlines across the planet. Yet wait, since September, it's gained 600 billion. That's not making the headlines. Five feet of snowfall expected over the next week in Greenland as well. Off the big wobble, 2018 set to be the hottest year ever. This article published on July 9th, they're saying June is expected to be the hottest June ever on the planet. Wait a second, the June temperatures are out already, and it's a hundredth of a degree cooler than 2017, which already dispels the hottest June ever. Here's the global temperatures. And if it was the hottest year ever, that green line, that's the 30-year average for Arctic temperatures, today's temperatures should not be below average from 80 degrees up to the Arctic Circle if indeed we were at the hottest year ever. And during these times of climatic change into the grand solar minimum, you're going to need to grow some of your own food. TrueLeafMarket.com, a huge array of sprouts for you to dive into, experiment with. Adapt 2030, True Leaf Market link is below in the description box, as well as all the links to tonight's images and stories. And if you haven't seen the global headlines, Helheim Glacier lost a piece of ice, approximately 8 billion tons, and they love to size at half the size of New York's Manhattan Island. Indeed, it was an impressive event. Take a look here at some images. Again, the global headlines just ran with this. It seems to be the number one story over the last few days to prove that global warming is still going on. A couple YouTube videos linked to the event as well. The researchers up there that were recording the event uh, compressed the half hour down into about two minutes, and you can watch how it rolled and spun away there. Now keep in mind that 8 billion tons that they keep telling you is this huge gargantuan amount of ice that was just lost. But in the same stories, they don't bring you over to Danish Meteorological Institute, the DMI, and show you the Greenland ice mass budget. So from September 1st, until now, that is the blue line of gains. That is 600 billion tons. Now see, they're showing you 8 billion in the news that it's a huge number, but then they forget to show you that it gains 600 billion. So in actuality, the headline should read, Greenland gained 592 billion tons because 8 billion tons broke off the Helheim Glacier. A little bit long, but I'm sure the journalist could squeeze that down into something more headline readable. Let's take a look at the melt. 2018, Friday the 13th on the left side compared to the 30-year average on the right side of the melt this particular day. Do you notice any difference? Look to the northeast and especially look to central west. Interestingly enough, even over these next few days, they're expecting five feet of snow up to, what, July 18th or so. Now, keep in mind, as this melt season onsets, it's going to turn back off around the 15th of September, maybe even earlier. It's less than two months of the entire melt season, but it's well below average comparatively the last 30 years that they're trying to tell you about global warming's increasing, etc. So do a little fact checking. Check these numbers yourself. They're only presenting one side of the story in the news, such as this one, Big Wobble. This is on July 9th. And they're saying that 2018 is set to be the hottest year ever. In the second paragraph that I highlighted in blue, June is expected to be named the hottest June ever on the planet. We'll see that article is published July 9th, but they had already put out the June temperatures so let's take a look at those. And this comes off the satellite data set, University of Huntsville, Alabama. And you know, the IPCC loves to talk about satellite data because it's so much more accurate. It can get us down to hundredths or thousandths of a degree of temperature to prove that we're warming the planet. So let's use the satellites. So here we go, let's compare the two years. If it's supposed to be the warmest June ever, it should have been warmer than last year. 2017-06 is June, 0.22 global. And follow that column down. We'll come right down to 2018, June, 0.21. So the temperature dropped 100th of a degree. 
So I don't know how they can come out with headlines like this and still say that it's on track to be the hottest June ever on the planet when it actually pulled back from the prior year. Taking a look at 1979 out to the latest 2018 temperatures in June. Not the hottest, not the hottest, and probably not going to be the hottest year ever. Just my opinion, though, the way it looks so far. Because you got to realize our northern hemispheric summer is over in two months. And also following fact-checking here, if it was going to be the hottest ever, then the North Pole should for sure be showing way above average temperatures. But when we look here, that green line is the 30-year average. This is 80 degrees around the top of the planet up to north at 90, right at the North Pole. That red line is where our temperatures are today. It is below the 30-year average. So again, this is the second fact that says, ah, talking about the warmest year ever just doesn't seem to apply right now. And also looking back into the sea ice thickness, again, this is July 13th here. I want you to go to Greenland and I want you to go to the left a little bit or west off of Greenland to Baffin Island. And then if you go to the west side of Baffin Island, you're going to see that orange right there in the center. That is over five meters thick ice that's still up in there. Five meters is 15 feet. And you know what? It pegs at that orange. They're going to need to put a new meter band in there. Could be six, could be seven, could be eight. We don't know. It pegs at five. And they're showing through there at least five meter thick ice. And all the way along coastal Greenland up through the channels up there where they say they're going to have ice free passage for our ships, etc. It's still at least four meters thick. That's 12 feet feet on the coastal. That should not be there. That should be melting first of all things. And then straight dead center at North Pole, we still got 12, 13, 14 foot thick ice. It's in that orangish red right there. Yellow, three meters, is nine feet thick. Less than two months to melt all of that off to get this supposed ice-free Arctic. Now use your own judgment. Do you think 15 foot thick ice, 12 foot thick ice is going to melt in a matter of less than two months now? Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. If you found any value in this, please subscribe and click that bell. And jump over to Mini Ice Age Conversations podcast where I post three to four times a week more in-depth commentary and conversations with interesting people in this space.